Hi folks, it's Teresa Stringfield Ridge Farm. Um, I'm going out here to check my herb garden this morning and I'm gonna take you along. We haven't done a garden tour or garden update this year at all. Uh, we've been doing the foraging videos and um, we're still trying to find a time to do live shows again. Um, maybe pretty soon we will go back to uh, Friday night. That's kind of what we're thinking. But right now we are still uh, having um, green kid ball games and stuff and, and we just don't have the time right now to go live. So maybe soon we will get back to that. Uh, but this year so far, we have mostly been doing foraging videos. We really haven't had time to do those the last couple of weeks. So I decided to do a garden tour. We haven't done any garden tours this year at all. Uh, haven't shown our garden at all. So I'm gonna walk you out here and show you what we've got going on this year. Okay, so you may have seen uh, last year and uh, well, last year we finished off our um, my herb garden and uh, the raised beds in my herb garden that Lee finished up for me. We got them full, used them last year, and uh, they are doing great. I absolutely love them. Uh, Lee has his garden, his big garden, up at the front of the park property um, going good, but uh, my herb garden is doing so good. I absolutely love this. Uh, garden. Um, it's not just for herbs. I have other things in here too, as you can see. Uh, but uh, we've done some videos the last couple of years on building this garden with the raised beds in it. And he put the fence around it for me to keep um, the animals out, which does not keep the cats out. So I do have a little problem with cats getting in there and um, uh, I have sprinkled cayenne pepper and uh, done different things to try to keep the cats out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I still catch them in there now and then and have to run them out um, with a stick. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this year I've got some different things in here than I had before. This year, I'm going to show you, I tried my cabbage in here. Now the cabbage done great. Here's a cat now. Will you stop? Um, the cabbage done great in here, but almost like too good because it's taken over two of my beds. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, let me get inside here and I'll show you what all I've got. But uh, yeah, my herb garden is doing wonderful. Stepping stones, my bench area. My um, my umbrella got damaged in a uh, couple of different storms and it just needs to be thrown away and I really need a new umbrella. So I haven't even uh, opened it up this year because it's got holes and tears and it's a mess. It just needs to be thrown away. But I haven't done that yet. So first let's go down here to the cabbage. And we do, who do we got following us? Who are you? Lucky. We've got Lucky and Spunky following us around. Okay. Now let me get on this other side and show this cabbage. This cabbage is amazing. And uh, this is the first time I have put cabbage in here. We usually put the cabbage in the... Um, big garden up there but it has never done this good these cabbage are amazing they're starting to uh, get pretty good heads on them so hopefully i can get them out of there soon and get something else planted in there but not until these heads get done but they are massive 15 huge heads of cabbage one is a red cabbage. The rest, uh, my red cabbage didn't come up real great. Just the green. I like red cabbage, but 
there's only one red cabbage that came up. So, anyway, most of them are doing amazing. So, anyway. Okay, so let's go back over here. If I can keep the cat out of my feet. So, I have some um, Swiss chard that done really good. I've used a lot of that already. There's some um, garlic that uh, has been in here. Uh, volunteer. This is a volunteer tomato plant. I've got several of those coming up. My bok choy has uh, bolted. Here's the bok choy. It has bolted. I'm fixing to take all that out and give to the rabbits. The rabbits love it. Got some nice looking tomato plants in here. Uh, here's another one. This one was a volunteer. It's not doing great. I don't know why for sure on, on that one, but my, my good one said I planted everything, everything in my garden, uh, and his garden too. Uh, he mostly plants from seed straight direct sow. Everything in my garden is uh, seeds I started. Uh, the tomatoes, the uh, cabbage, um, what else? The sunflowers, um, the beans. I've got some uh, beans I'll be showing you. Uh, Scarlet runner beans and noodle beans. Uh, I think I started those from seed. It, but most of this I started from seed inside. And then the rest I started direct sow seed outside. Uh, but we didn't buy any plants. Nothing in here is bought plants. This is my echinacea that comes up every year. I have dusted with a little bit of um, um, DE uh, because I saw a few bugs. And early on, we started getting a few uh, cabbage worms. And so I took and dusted with DE real good. I also sprayed with DT. Sunflowers. I planted sunflowers this year in here. And I haven't done that before. I don't know how good that's going to turn out because sunflowers get so tall and big and I don't know how that's going to do for me. But I do utilize the sunflower blooms. I had rather have the sunflower blooms because they are good for colds and viruses uh, as a tea for colds and viruses. So that's what I'm using these for this year. Um, so, if they don't get huge and tall, I don't care. As soon as they bloom, I will probably go ahead and get the blooms. Anyway, more sunflowers. This is a volunteer tomato. That's why it doesn't have a cage. I wasn't sure how good it would do in between the cabbages. And it was a volunteer, which means it will probably have the little tomatoes, the little... Um, cherry tomatoes is usually what I get out of these volunteers so don't know how that'll turn out I need to get it caged I reckon I've got some lettuces more of that bok choy that has uh, bolted and uh, this is a uh, eggplant I've got several eggplants throughout um, more I've got uh, I've got these um, sunflowers at the end of each row at the end of each bed I put a couple of sunflowers there's some Malabar spinach that is doing wonderful and then my scarlet runner beans are going up the trellis there what else there's another volunteer tomato plant I don't even know if I will leave that because I'm running out of cages and um, and I have way more tomato plants than I really need. So I may not leave that. Here's another, he's gotten a little dirty. A, uh, this is a pepper plant. Oh, a um, bell pepper plant. And this one, this little guy is not doing great, is a um, um, poblano, poblano pepper. 
and the cats won't stay out. Okay, onions. I have used a lot of these onions for a, a, as green green onions, but um, I may use a few more. But some of them I'm gonna let um, get big and make onions. Another tomato plant that's doing great, and another volunteer in the middle there. There's another eggplant that's not doing great because he's getting ate up, but I have uh, dusted him. Another sunflower. This is my ashwagandha. That is the only one that came back up this year. I think it, but he's got several sprigs on him, so I don't know that I'll need more than that. Um, I, I, I planted a whole lot of them last year and got the seeds and, and used them. And I still have some left, so I'm not too worried about having a bunch of that this year. I have two. I have, this one's got three stems. And then I have one in a pot that has a couple of stems. I probably need to put it over here with that one. So, let's see. I don't know that that's going to work. There's a weed. Let's get that weed out of here. There's a bell pepper plant. And marigolds. I did plant marigolds in here again this year. I wasn't going to because they took over last year. But I went ahead and done it anyway. So, my mint is, of course, doing great. It always does. My mint back there behind my bench is wonderful. This is lemon balm. And I have some decorations in some of my herb gardens. A couple tomato plants. In here, there's a bell pepper plant, some more decoration, and some um, lettuce, and I believe that's a uh, Trinidad. That's a Trinidad perfume pepper, and then some lettuce is left over. Um, that's a bell pepper, and some little ornaments and things that I put in here. Another sunflower, some more bok choy that's bolting. The rabbits are going to get all of that so that I can plant something else in here. Here's my scarlet runner beans running up this trellis. I love the scarlet runner beans. Some of them's already getting a few blooms. Kind of early. Uh, another bell pepper. And there's another bell pepper. And then there's some dill. Can't see it very good, but there's some dill through here. Just a little bit. And catnip. I've got a whole bunch of catnip. It's kind of taken over. I probably need to dig some of that out. Because I don't need a whole lot of catnip. Um, it is good for some things. Uh, medicinally. And uh, I will use that. But I just don't need this much of it. And it is taken over. So I may dig that out. Uh, and leave just a piece or two. I probably really need to move it to a, um, a, a container. Uh, like I did the mint over there. My comfrey is doing great. And that will take over also. But I do use a lot of comfrey. So I'm not too worried about that taking over. Because... I use a lot of it, and I will um, I will cut that out there soon and use it and uh, almost cut it back to nothing, so I'm not worried about that. Taking over some oregano. Let me get around there to that. Another sunflower, and there's my oregano. It's doing good this year. Another volunteer tomato plant that I don't need. There's another Trinidad pepper. Some more, um, I sprinkled quite a bit on that. Uh, things like to eat on my Malabar spinach. So I sprinkled it real good. Almost got too much on there. But anyway, my two Malabar, I think I've got three Malabar spinach. I'm not sure where the other one is. But I've got two for sure that are doing good. And I think there's another one somewhere. Uh, giant, this is a giant cayenne pepper i hope it does really good that's the only one that came up of my cayenne 
and garlic lots of garlic and then there's some giant garlic this is some giant garlic i've got down in here and that is getting taken over by the catnip so there you go i also have some uh noodle beans over here in a pot it needs weeding out it's got three noodle beans in it that are going to grow on this Mm, trellis <clears throat> and another tomato plant so there you go Lee's strawberries uh, didn't do great this year we don't know why uh, we think that maybe that bed is older than the other beds and we're thinking that it got maybe compacted down and um, didn't do as good this year it had some strawberries but not a lot it's mostly, it's got a lot of weeds. It needs weeding. We really need to pull those strawberries out and put some um, <clears throat> more good, uh, good soil in there and then plant them back. And I think he's going to try to do that this fall. Or um, uh, these are the ever-bearing strawberries, so they'll stay and keep coming back. Pull that big old weed out for him. Um, so anyway, we do need to work on the strawberries for sure. So there you go. I've got a couple of wind chimes out here. I like uh, butterflies is not exactly my theme, but it is in my garden. My theme, like in my house, is my roosters and chickens. But in the garden, I usually have a lot of uh, butterflies. I love wind chimes. I have lots of wind chimes. But I like my butterflies and flower decorations out in the herb garden. So there you go. There is my herb garden this year. Everything is doing great. Especially those cabbage. <laughs> but, uh, but I really need those cabbage to get done. So I can get them out of there and plant something else. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm okay with cabbage. So as long as that cabbage wants to grow and soon as it heads then I can put something else in there so that's my herb garden this year now we'll walk up and look real quick at Lee's garden uh, I'm gonna say his is not doing as good as mine and that's just because um, he planted a little later than I did my stuff has been in here longer and he hasn't had as much water in his so here's Lee's garden it is, uh, other than the potatoes, everything else has not been planted as long as my things. So it's not coming up quite as good as mine. We have a couple of uh, gooseberry bushes that are doing pretty good. Gooseberry bush. Alright. Now, I'm going to go to the other side. So, let's see. Uh, he's got a row down through here that needs weeding. That is um, watermelon. Down through here, we've got some uh, spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. I always have him plant some of that up here. And then we've got a couple of rows here of um, okra. And these are the green beans. We use bush. We always do bush green beans. We don't like pole beans. So we do bush green beans. And, and then his onions. <clears throat> onions are doing pretty good. And uh, most of these onions, I may go down through there and get me a few green onions out of it. But mostly that will be um, whole onions that we'll let go. And potatoes are doing good they've been in a lot longer than everything else up here and then he just planted me some yellow squash i had started some yellow squash from seed and i didn't have any place to put them and he had run out of room but he had um, uh, something he planted here that didn't come up so he put my yellow squash here and then past the yellow squash is um some uh, peppers 
We've got some pepper plants in there and then a few tomato plants on the end. And then the rest over here is sunflowers. We love to have our sunflowers. So we do that every year. There's a lot of spots that didn't uh, come up. And um, he had the same thing over here. He had several rows of things that didn't come up. Maybe older seeds. Um, and there you go. So, his garden is not doing quite as good as mine this year. But it'll get there. It'll get there. It's got plenty of time. It just needs some rain. Or he needs to water. There you go. That's what we got this year. We also have uh, several uh, fruit trees and some wild. We have uh, passion fruit that grows wild here. Um, we have pawpaw trees wild here, elderberry, uh, mulberry trees that actually are doing great this year. This is our apple tree that we planted pretty good. Um, one year, I think it was year before last maybe, that it done so good. But yeah, it's doing pretty good. Yeah. And then, uh, and I like to do tomatoes in pots here and there. I always do that. So there's a few tomatoes in pots. Uh, beside our um, grapevines. Now, our grapevines were doing really good, but early on we had a, uh, a killing frost that uh, done some damage to our grapevines and they're not doing quite as good this year. But there's a lot of damage too. But they will come back out and survive. That's our grape harbor. And then we have the large uh, paper, uh, paper shell, large pecan trees. We have a walnut tree, black walnut tree. We utilize it for medicine. And we have, I think, three, two or three, two larger ones and one smaller uh, mulberry tree that we utilize. So we've got lots of... Um, Lots of wild plants and um, trees to forage. And we have done a series on the foraging. If you haven't seen that, you need to check that out. And then our gardens. So uh, we also have our animals. We have um, rabbits and chickens. And we've done pigs before. I would love to do that again, but we haven't yet. And we've done a cow, uh, raised a calf. A few years ago would love to do that again but Lisa says no on that one <laughs> we've tried goats we did not do well with goats anyway that's our farm so there you go folks give us a thumbs up comment and subscribe